Hey guys, this video is from our latest Rick and Johnny podcast. Make sure to check out the full podcast on blogtalkradio.com backslash Rick and Johnny. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know Johnny and I had fun recording it. And we got to move on, Johnny, into our last topic, completing our Marvel DC Samaj. And uh, we're putting mayo on it. We put all the, the stuffings inside. We got to put that other piece of bread on it. Which Ricky is pulled the lettuce this. out, though. Yeah, fuck lettuce. <laughs> fuck anything that's green, except if it has a candy coating. But we got <laughs> we to gotta, we gotta put on this last slice and of, of bread, that is. And we're going to be talking Marvel. And we're going to be looking at Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Because on the Adam Carolla show, Johnny, the director, James Gunn, who we love so much here oh, on the Rick yeah. and Johnny podcast... He came out and dropped a bomb on us that Michael Rosenbaum, who you may know, I know him from Impastor. That's the one thing where I'm like, that's where I've seen his face before. He was also Lex Luthor in Smallville. He is going to be playing a, and I quote, a very important character from the Marvel Universe. So basically what we are coming up with today is kind of theories for Rosenbaum's character but also another character as Sylvester Stallone is going to be playing. Yeah, yeah Stallone. Rocky is going to be playing another important character. And from what Gunn has told us in that interview, both are very important to the Marvel Universe and are characters people don't know about. So, Johnny, I'm going to throw it at you. You being the Marvel guy more than my DC guy, you have Marvel on your chest right now on your shirt. I'm going to ask you. If you're hearing that, it's they're important characters to the Marvel Universe and people don't know about them, who could Rosenbaum and Stallone be in Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Well, uh, the only thing I could say without just diving into it is it's going to be one of the... Oh, just dive in, baby. Oh, I'm going to dive in in don't, a second. Don't dip the toe in no, the no, pool. I, I just dive in. I want to dip the toe. I want to give a little, <laughs> little little thing before I do my, my nice swan dive. Okay, okay. So what's going to happen is it's got to be any of the immortals of the mm -hmm. Marvel Universe. So there's already speculation. There's already things hinting at Stallone being the living tribunal. Mm -hmm. There's already hints of him being that it's a entity of the Marvel Universe that oversees the balance and realities of, con of just Marvel Universe and the multiverse. So that would be kind of pre one a cool one to throw in. Now, how they're going to do it, I... Not totally sure because I no, don't know a ton about the Living Tribunal. Stallone having being that character would be interesting. Now, what they said, I believe you and I talked about, is that it's going to be relatable. Um, Rosenbaum's character is going to be relatable to whatever Stallone's is. Mm -hmm. So we talked about it a little bit. And the one that we haven't seen yet, the one that we sh we thought we should have seen, probably should have seen by now, is The Watcher. The, per the one who watches the earth. Mm -hmm. Everything that goes down. He can't make any impact with it. He's not allowed to do any of that stuff. But the Watcher. And you know what? I think that would be a good one to go along with. We have, And the twists that we're doing with everything. Um, like, for example, Ego the Living Planet. Mm -hmm. If you've seen the previews. He's not, not a planet. He's not a planet. I'm interested to see how they're going along <laughs> with that concept. Because I do like what Marvel does. They twist things to... Mm -hmm. Fit the universe a little bit better in a uh, cinematic sense. Well, and things that you can do in comics aren't directly relatable to exactly. the movies and the big screen. Exactly, which is why, like I said, I do like what Marvel does with that kind of stuff. They change it up so mm -hmm. that it's more, it's better in a cinematic sense as opposed to, well, we just dragged it out of the comic book and threw mm -hmm. it right in front of you. Yeah, it's not that easy. No, it's not. You can't actually do that unless you just CGI or animate everything and the thing that i'm wondering is i think that maybe rosenbaum might be the watcher and it's going to be interesting because one of the things like i think you mentioned you mentioned the living tribunal right? yeah that's the rumors are that stallone is supposed to be the living tribunal and the thing that i'm kind of looking when i look up the wikipedia for it is the living tribunal is that kind of character that kind of like the Watcher almost oversees, but the main job of this character is to keep balance throughout the different universes. Mm -hmm. So there's many different universes, some alternative, some um, not, and they're supposed to make sure that 
one universe isn't too powerful than the other. And I look at this and I go, huh, I could see this happening because, hmm, what character right now, Johnny, is trying to not just create an imbalance between him and the Avengers, but could also be creating an imbalance between himself and other universes? Thanos. I think it's Thanos. Yeah. And really, that's how they could play that in, where the Living Tribunal is trying to, because the one thing we talked about in the Thor Ragnarok movie, our movie video that we did, was that the Grand Master is going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy. Or not Guardians of the Galaxy, he's going to be in In Thor Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok. And in that one, we expect, or I kind of speculated that, you know, it's going to be Thanos getting that last gem that he needs or the last gem that we know about from the Grand Master, this could kind of be the story of, because Guardians of the Galaxy is always dealing with stuff going on away, like in the deep, dark, basically the galaxy. Yeah. And this could be basically the other side to it that the Living Tribunal and the Watcher are trying to, basically trying to stop Thanos, or they know that something is going on. And it's the Guardians that kind of find them and learn from them what's going on with Thanos and with this. Obviously, Nebula knows what's going on. Nebula and Gamora know what's going on as they are the daughters of Thanos. It's going to also be interesting to see what happens with Nebula in this film. Because Thanos ain't really happy with her right now. She kind of ran away. Gamora he's not happy with at all right now. And really, to me, it looks like that... If they have the Living Tribunal in there, it could just be he's the plot piece that gives the Star-Lord and the Guardians of the Galaxy knowledge of what's going on in the Avengers mm-hmm. and really ties them into the Infinity Wars. That could be very very well so. The other thing I was reading before we started this was um, that the Living Tribunal judges whether he should destroy a universe mm-hmm. or let it go. And maybe part this of... This could be one where he's probably thinking, hey, I got to destroy this universe because you guys can't stop him. Maybe the Watcher is the one saying, no, I've been watching Earth specifically, mm-hmm. and I he, uh, he may even be keeping tabs on what Star-Lord's doing because he is human. Mm-hmm. So he's like one of the few humans in the un- in the galaxy, protecting the galaxy. He may be keeping tabs on it. He's like, no, we have these other things that are working to try and combat this you can't destroy it right now and that could be what coincides between the watcher and the living tribunal Mm -hmm. or stallone and rosenbaum so you have them connected you have that and the other question i'm going to throw out to you now is are we going to have them just kind of like the eagle the living planet it's going to be a person and it's going to represent it somehow or are we going to have cgi characters and the two of them doing voiceovers what do you think i think that we might have Because the thing that's interesting is I think it's going to be actual characters. And the reason why is in Infinity Wars, they just cast – I can't remember his name off the top of my head. But he's the guy that did the main motion capture for the Planet of the Apes films. Oh, yeah. I know. He is casted for Infinity Wars as a motion capture actor. Okay. So for me, I'm looking at that. If they were going to cast Stallone as motion capture – wouldn't we know? Like, of course, they're really keeping these two characters under wraps. Like, we didn't even know Rosenbaum was no, going to be in this movie. No, not until recently. We didn't get t- little hints at it. And, of course, this is the, oh, it's a month to the movie. Got to throw it out there because, of course, then people like us talk about it. Mm-hmm. And you guys look it up online. It kind of creates the hype coming into early May when Guardians is coming out. I want to say May 5th is that date we will have a review for you of that movie. You mm-hmm. can bet your little sallies on that one. But I, I kind of like that idea. Maybe the Living Tribunal's like, hey, you know what? This Thanos guy, he's close to getting the Infinity Gauntlet. It don't look like they're going to be able to stop him, or I don't think they'll be able to stop them. I might have to destroy this universe. And the Watcher may be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm watching things right now. I got things undercover. They can do this. I know these guys. So it could kind of be... Yeah. That little back and forth between them. But I'll kind of ask you this. 
what if Rosenbaum isn't the Watcher? Is there any other characters that you see in the Marvel Universe that he could could kind of be? Are there any characters kind of linked to the living planet that he could be as well? Because let's be honest, it's not known that Stallone is even the living tribunal. That's just what we are seeing yeah, that's very true. as the top rumors. Yeah, that is the top rumor. And you know what? That's why we were starting off like this. I'm not 100% sure, honestly. Um, my one for Rosenbaum was maybe a hint or maybe a after credit or some short scene of him being the one character that comes out of the cocoon at a Morlock could be because that we uh, um partially is the one of the storylines is that he's comes to defeat Thanos mm-hmm. with the infinite for the infinity gauntlet so maybe we will get a Adam Warlock I'm maybe that's now I'm saying a maybe the because... reason why I say this is I'm gonna go back to the main article that I was quoting at the beginning and when Peter Gunn says the words are yeah uh, when James Gunn says the words of you know what it's characters that people might not know. Is Adam Warlock one of those characters that people might not know? I mean, you and I know about him because we look into this well, stuff. Yeah, and that's the thing. When he when directors say stuff like that, are they talking about like obviously you're talking it's about like, the casuals, right? It's how un it's how unknown are you talking about? Yeah, and Cause it's because like the living Adam Warlock, you and I know about him. We know a decent and enough mm-hmm. to know what, what he's about. Living Tribunal, we I didn't know much about him. I've seen him in a few mm-hmm. little pieces of art. I got one hanging on my wall at I, home. I know about The Watcher more than I do um, The Living Tribunal. Yeah, exactly. I knew enough about, a good amount about The Watcher. Living Tribunal, I, I'd i seen stuff on him, like pictures of him and stuff, but I really know much about him mm-hmm. until recently when I started looking more stuff up about Guardians and other stuff about the Marvel Universe. Yeah, and I, right now I'm trying to think. Like, Adam... Mm, Adam Warlock is one of those things where I could maybe see it, but mm-hmm. another character that I thought of is could we also see one of them be Adam Warlock, the other one be Nova? That's another is, one I was going to throw out to or you. Is no, like, and that's the thing. Is Nova one of those characters where it's like, oh, well, people might not know it, or is it, well, duh, people are going to know who Nova is. And the one thing I think about is – the Nova that I know is the one I relate to is from uh, the Spider-Man cartoon. Yeah. With uh, Ultimate Spider-Man with um, what's his face from J- Drake and Josh um, does the voice of Spider-Man and Eric Matthews does the voice of Deadpool in that. That's the Nova I know. And I look at Rosenbaum and I just think of him as his character in Impastor. He could make a good Nova. I can see that. You know what? I haven't seen a lot of him, Pastor, but mm-hmm. I've seen enough. He's a funny guy in clips that. like, and, that's clips what and it stuff is. of it. He's a funny guy, and I could see him translating that into a Nova character who is kind of a funny character as well, and not a super serious character or the mm-hmm. Nova that I know. Yeah, you know what? It could play into it because mm-hmm. you beat me to the punch, by the way. That's another one I was going to bring up. Well, just like you beat me to the punch on the uh, second one. You're welcome. When I was thinking of Dark Universe and you yep. threw it out there. But are we totally off and maybe it's not the Living Tribunal and um, the Watcher and it's more Adam Warlock and the Nova? Nova? It could be Nova. Um, I'd be interested to see which one of them is what. Um, oh, Rosenbaum would be Nova, and yeah. Stallone would be Adam Warlock. I would. That's think. true. I don't rem- have a good recollection of what Adam Warlock looks like at this moment. So very well could mm-hmm. because, like we talked about in one of our other videos, some of it's about not just how the character acts, but how they look a little bit too. Got has to play into yeah, it. Yeah, but the thing, the like, the main difference with Adam Warlock compared to Stallone is the fact that he's got blonde hair. Okay. So really, that's all you got to change. He's got longer blonde hair. And that's easy to do. That's easy to fix. I look at the build of Adam Warlock, and I see him closely relatable. I see it too, yeah. More to Stallone than Rosenbaum, where Nova's kind of that thinner, not buffer character. Because you don't need to be when you have... Those superpowers. Exactly. You can fly at at the Nova speeds, supernova speeds. Yeah. No, so yeah, I mean, that would be a good way to go about it, too. Have him part of the Nova Corps, and mm-hmm. something happens, he becomes Nova. 
because well, it it has a Nova Core uniform suit, mm-hmm. and then it's just the helmet. I did, didn't we see the helmets in the first Guardians movie we too? We did. So I mean, uh, it's all it's gotta be is just throw that in there. Because we did have the Nova Core in the first Guardians, and yeah. we are gonna have them a little bit in this one. I mean, we they have the Power Stone mm-hmm. kept um, to be protected. So yeah, I mean, it's very possible to have either of those two in there too. And right now. I'm just trying to look at stuff that, like, online, like, what could he be? What could Rosenbaum be? What could Stallone be? And we do have images of Stallone with longer hair. If you're going to do the Adam Warlock story, Mm kind of think of uh, when Stallone was Rambo. True. He had that longer hair, and all we got to do is make it blonde. We yeah. just have to make it blonde. And like I said, they can do that easy. So I mean that wouldn't be that would be another one to go that they can go with. Are there any other characters? You're the Marvel guy. Are there any other characters that we could tie into this that they could be? Like I said, I can't be specific because it's mm-hmm. just like they can choose they can choose any of the immortals of the universe. There's what the, would you do? If you were James Gunn, what would you do? I like the idea of going Watcher and mm-hmm. Tribunal. Or, like we said, throw Nova and Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock in there. Adam Warlock is the one of the keys, at least in one of the storylines, of defeating Thanos and taking mm-hmm. the Infinity Gauntlet. So, I mean, we have what was a theory of a hint towards Adam Warlock's cocoon, mm-hmm. as the Watcher has. Or, no, not the Watcher. The, the collector. collector has. And, I mean, it could be, it could be just nothing. So, I mean, those, I feel like those would be... Enough where it's not a well-known character, as they mm-hmm. said. I think you said it was. Yeah, it's a character that not many people know of. Not many people know of. So, I mean, that is one that not many people know mm-hmm. of in the sense that you're you're just seeing these Marvel movies and you don't really wa- read in Marvel stuff. Or if we go our level, watch your living tribunal. I think that'd be the one if you're going our level. If you're going farther than that, I mean, you've got the Beyonder. You've got, uh, I've got a few of my head here. Let's see. There's Galadorian, Space Knight, Rom. Um, there's so really so many. you can go any of the Immortals. Is what I would you're say saying. you can go any of the Immortals at that point. There's a few of them I can't remember the names mm-hmm. of because I haven't memorized them all yet. Yeah. It's one of those things where the, here's the thing I'm going to throw out with the Adam Warlock side of it. With his character specifically, because we have mentioned so many times that he's supposed to be the one to fight Thanos mm-hmm. in the comics, if you introduce him now, does that really fit in with Infinity Wars? Or could you make it to where everything still happens? Because by the time he gets to everything in Infinity Wars Part 2... That's basically him saying, I was so far in the galaxy, and just to travel here, it took me that long. I could say it could be a good concept of that, because we don't have an understanding of how his powers work just yet. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe it's a, I couldn't just, like, zoom over there because I just got out of my cocoon. I just hatched out of my cocoon. Exactly. So maybe he I- could- I like that though. I like that theory though. And with then Adam Warlock, because we already have the cocoon. Yeah, exactly. There or is what we think is the cocoon. It could be the cocoon. So I mean, there's that concept there, and we have all. I mean, we we don't know how Marvel movies span a hundred percent, because there was some conflict. Some people we talked about before with why don't the Avengers just all do, help each other in Captain America: yeah. Winter Soldier? Why don't they help in Tony Stark? Because they have separate things going mm-hmm. on. So these things kind of overlap and mm-hmm. maybe while well, stuff is going on Guardians, stuff is going on on Earth, this hatching or could be at the end of the movie it doesn't happen until. So all this other thing all these you're other things happen. St- you're gonna pay Stallone for just an after credit scene. I didn't say after credit, but so at the end of the movie. Or just give them give him money an for after credit scene. Give him the after credit scene. I mean, I don't know how much you're gonna he's gonna charge for, but I mean, <laughs> you do a better story. Hey, than you do it. Adrian, <laughs> Adrian, <laughs> just saying, Adam Warlock, Adrian. I met him. <laughs> but really, if you had to give one or the other, I'm giving you a vote. It's either Living Tribunal and Watcher or Nova Adam Warlock. What are you saying? Which oh, one? Which one do you think it's gonna be? Such a hard choice. Or none of the above. I I would like to see either of the two. It Pick would be one cool. or none of the above. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. 
I'm going to say Nova and a Morlock. Because... I'm going to go on the other side only because I don't. I want to see Nova and Adam Warlock, and usually what I want to see, they don't do. So I'm going to say Watcher and Living Tribunal. Okay, just just so they do the one you don't <laughs> just because, don't want to see. Well, just because usually the one I want to see, they don't do. Yeah, the only reason I'm saying Adam Warlock is because if we go with some of the storylines, it's going to be Adam Warlock needs to save the day at the very end at least. Mm-hmm. And that's really the big thing is if they do Adam Warlock, how are they going to tie it in since he's the one that's really supposed to stop Thanos and yeah. be that kind of force. Take the Infinity Gauntlet from that. him. Anything we missed in this. Anything we missed in the Rosenbaum Stallone kind of a theory. No, I think it's pretty cool that we're getting hints at it. We got, what, two months until mm-hmm. the movie comes out? So not, not much. Not really. That... Maybe a month and a week. Yeah. I mean, not much that can be uh, hashed out at this point. Just mm-hmm. got to wait for that release and... Uh, Hope it's a good movie. Well, no, it's a good. It's movie. gonna be it's a, a good movie. movie. Let's but be honest. I, let, let's. I'm Even Ant Man, which we were like, Ugh, how do you do Ant Man? <laughs> Fucking loved it. <laughs> Fucking loved it. It was great. But this is where you guys come in. Let us know down below. What do you guys think? What theory do you think? Which characters are they going to be? Also, I want to thank you guys for joining us here for the Rick and Johnny podcast. Don't forget to check out podcast Numero Dos as we reviewed Beauty and the Beast this week as well. Thank you guys for joining us. Check out patreon.com backslash most valuable podcast. Us on Twitter at Ricky Widmer at War Machine 9085. And then at Most Valuable Pod for Most Valuable Podcast. And as always, have a good day, everybody. Thank you everyone for watching the R- R- Rick and Johnny podcast. Click right here to watch another squanchy video. And let's get rickety rickety wrecked! <laughs>